every single time I talk about the tracer sandwich, I'm like, ah, oh, I remember that that uh, lucky lefty review back on um, what was it Watchpoint Gibraltar, I think, right? Uh -huh. So that that is officially joined yes. the spiral vernacular as of that session. So I always appreciate your review because I think it was like it wasn't just like the term, but I was like, oh yeah, shoot, you know, actually, I think that that's actually kind of important. I should talk about that more. <laughs> it is, yes, I definitely, I definitely <sighs> think about that too when I see, uh, you know, any study, you know, tracer, but also any diver getting, yeah, yeah, you know, sandwich. Yeah. I yeah. agree. I agree. I agree. It feels like something that every character needs to keep in mind, but it becomes especially important, like I said, with those flankers. So, um, yep. Okay. Okay. So, what are we looking at today? Um, so, we are going to look at Iliari. Okay. Love it. How's I, the, uh, I would, how's the Iliari going since last time it was Dorado, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Iliari is going well. Um, that, um, sort of mini review was very helpful and I've started and it definitely modified the way I play and I've especially liked playing her on um, points like uh, so what's the sort of high techy hybrid map with sort of the the ledge over main um, um, is it a king of the hill map or an escort map uh, uh, hybrid capture the first point and then you push the push the cart um oh, crud i don't know so you capture the point then you push the cart so it's a hybrid let yes see. let me see if i can come would it be i uh, king's row midtown new powder iso new bonnie uh, new, possibly new uh, Okay. 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 Numbani. There's a lot of high ground on first point. Yes. New Got it. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. anyway, like I've loved as Iliari just holding that sort of high ground on main, like as yes. they sort of turn the corner, like, honestly, I've been able to hold that pretty much solo against three or four people and just force nice. them to take another route. Like, unless they have like a, like dive or like a sniper or something. Yeah. Like you can yeah. usually make it bad enough for them that. Yeah. They yeah. have to go another route. And then, um, yeah. And also like blizzard world defense first point, like just holding in that room to the right. Like, honestly, you can push, you can generally push, like, one to two flankers back by yourself and or kill them. Um, while also poking into main from there. Right, right. Um, like, you, you are the turret, you know? You kind of just, like, hold the angle and just pressure control, control space, and so on, so. Yeah, um, I, I particularly like it when an ash tries to push up to that staircase. And full challenge. Is, yeah. You're so good with pylon. You're such like one of the best one v one characters in the game as long as you have that pylon. So exactly. Okay. Okay. And Obviously it also took... gives. No, go ahead. Finish your thought. I was gonna say it also gives you a good opportunity to you can make a decision whether to escape while they either kill your pylon or try to poke you down while your pylon heals you, or engage. Right. Um, right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Now, obviously, you said like part of your playtime issues have been kind of tough, so it's been kind of difficult with you, which is fine. No big deal. Uh, so, what are we looking at today specifically? More Idiari or, or or Echo? I'm seeing Echo on the list here, <laughs> on the form. Yeah. So right now, basically, I'm meaning both Echo and Iliari, and my Echo is actually better. It's up in like mid gold. Mm -hmm. Um, but I feel like there are between you have some really good echo videos out there like the rap yes like the rap video from a while ago <laughs> yep um and also uh, so i i would like to understand iliari better and just to ha have someone to talk it through with and yeah um sort of improve my thinking sure 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 it's a shame that you're internet is a question because maybe we I, otherwise i would be interested in doing some live coaching with you oh um, uh my internet is mostly like it only happens like literally once or maybe twice a day um okay. so maybe but, is, it, is it something that you can maybe we could try like the live stream live yeah. coaching stuff 
Maybe that would be helpful. Yeah, sure. Because I feel like since the Dorado review, I feel like you have a pretty good idea of like what you should be doing. So we could definitely look at some gameplay here, but it would be more of like kind of repeating what we talked about already. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's 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 queue up then. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me uh, launch it, and then I'll share the screen. Sure. And what we can do as well is whenever we do live coaching is I always like um, what we'll do a little bit of live coaching, then we'll go back and look at the game that you've just played. That's that sounds great. Perfect. Uh, here are your screen. Okay. Got it. Okay. okay. You yeah, you yeah, can yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Great. Wow, you, this is mega widescreen. <laughs> Let's go. This is sick. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> I'm jealous. All right. Let's uh, let me get my OBS scene changed up here so we can capture all that. Is this Vaxta? This is actually the IO Stukes one. Ah, there you go. That's the one I'm in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so whenever you're like particularly angry at the coaching, you can just be like, you know, I, I could actually kill Spile there. Perfect. Yeah. It does amuse me. Uh... Yeah. The, the one, the nice thing about this one is it's, it's, it's more fun than Vaxta, you know, because I think yeah. anything that involves challenge is maybe more conducive for practice. I also find the sort of adjustable, uh, speed to be really nice mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. it's nice to warm up with like some very slow and then ideally i can get up to like you know 160 170 and right i think the movement's maybe not quite as good as the vaxta one but the the speed thing and like the challenge mode is, is good i think vaxta also has a challenge mode to be fair but yeah Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't tried the, uh... Yeah, I haven't really done a lot either, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but it's just good, especially with Iliari, to get up to, uh... Basically a speed where you can't... You can't move your cursor fast enough to right. shoot them unless exactly. you sort of pre-aim. Right, exactly. I think a lot of mechanics is just, like, trusting that you're arm will move so i noticing like right now you're kind of waiting for them to move into your crosshair what might be mm -hmm. good for you to do is just kind of what i want you to actually let's do for the rest of the warm up here find a good sight line and stand still take your left hand maybe not off the keyboard but just like let your left hand rest and just use uh -huh. strictly your right hand to just move the, move your crosshair flick 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 so you're kind of still notice you're still kind of letting them walk into your crosshair uh huh. Move the crosshair into them. Okay, so you. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's tricky, right? So, so it, yeah. it's good. It's good to use the enemy team's movement against them, but maybe that's where you could use some of the Vax instead, because I think Vax's movement's a little bit more unpredictable. So that might be a little bit. That might be something to practice. All right. Maybe I will. I will give that a try because right Sounds now good. I've been using the waiting for move to, them to move into it. Yes. Um Yes, as, as it works well, it's definitely a, um, <clears throat> like there are times when it uh, like there are advantages to it. But it, mm -hmm. if it sounds it's good to know that sort of there's sort of another level. Yeah, to, the way I like to, to look at it is that like uh, training different ways can't hurt you getting uh -huh. different approaches and trying different things and seeing what feels good and seeing what helps. Okay, let's uh, let's let's go in here. So what I want you to focus on for here, I don't know what you've been been working on in the past, but I want you to focus on just finding a good off angle, place the pylon, and pressure. Only thing I really want you to focus on is just the positioning, though. That sounds good. That's actually one of the things I've been working on. So excellent. Uh, Probably the most important thing. Let's see yeah. how we go. Don't worry too much about your mechanics or your ults or anything like that. Just worry about the positioning. 
Honestly, don't even worry too much about your pylon either. Just the positioning. Oh. That's... So here I'm trying to be out of a... Oop. Widow LOS, yep, I gotcha. Yep. Okay. Don't know where the widow is. Oh, she's back there. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to back up. Sure. I hear the widow on the right somewhere. Uh -huh. Good damage, keep going. Oh, she is close. <laughs> nice shot. Yep, thanks. Nice shot. Nice. And here I'm just trying to keep my team alive because we have yeah. numbers. Yeah, and you're still doing damage just while you're doing it as well. Good, good stuff. It's okay. It's okay. So here I feel like this is sort of the conservative angle. The other option would be like in the in the room over there. I think this is pretty reasonable. I feel like especially with Genji, Genji can push me out of that room and possibly kill that me. That is true. It's a little too pretty close. fast. Oh, we lost our tank. That's fine. Hold the angle. Hold the angle. Hold the angle. Stay up. Oh. Just even if you die, maybe you can get a kill because you're not going to get back. So just die and maybe die with getting a kill. See, I would not have backed up even then because you would just go in and right. You're not Kiriko or Lucy. You're not really going to be able to get out. So just get a kill if that's the way to look. Okay. So right now I'm thinking I'd like to use my ult, but I want to wait until at least I can get some value out of can it. Can I be honest? If there's four members yep. of your team, that's good enough. So if you okay. see if you see an opportunity, okay, maybe not now, but if you see an opportunity, go for it. Uh, it's okay. Let's still get her. Yeah. All right, now, now just die. Get a kill, though. Don't back up. Die. Good stuff. That's okay. I mean, you the, the idea of what you did was fine. You did yeah. fine. The, the ult and the widow there, you could have taken the high ground away from her, I think, would have been the play there. Use the yeah. flight to take the high ground, but yeah. Yes, I think landing there. And also just I panicked a little bit and yeah, just didn't right. hit my shots. It's all right. All right, so where do you need to position here? This is, again, we want to think about that positioning. Um... Tricky Maybe way, though, up here. Not a bad idea. The widow's on that corner, I think. Widow's dead now. The beacon can walk. Oh. It's okay. Hold an off angle here. Now, I want you to see you take an angle here, either right or left. Okay, here you go. Nice. Good. Force FH. She's right behind you. Good shot. Careful. There's a Genji on Genji's you. Genji's right behind me. Okay. Use that pylon. Good. Nice. Good. All right, I want you to try and get off the floor if you can and try and take an angle here. Now that you have your pylon. Good. Relax. 
Good. It's okay. Relax and go for the squishies. It's okay. Mm. Position's not looking too bad. I think the only thing there is, I think, maybe a little bit sooner getting to that high ground and trying to stay on that high ground, I think, would be good. Mm -hmm. Nice ultimates, nice shots. Pylons are looking pretty good, too. All right, where do you want to play here? What angle do you want to hold? Um, I feel like either up in the building or, like, I could go far left, but again, the, the Genji is going to be able to... True, but maybe if you have Pylon, if it's just the Genji. Right now, I'm just trying to be bait, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, it, and it worked. It worked. You did were able to kill the soldier there. I said, don't overthink the problems right now. We'll, we'll look at it and review, and we'll let you come up with the solutions. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, so here's yeah. what I want you to do now. So I want mm -hmm. you to, once this game is over, I want you to get the replay code and send it to me, and we'll take a look. Sounds good. And then what we'll do is we'll find what adjustments you can make. Let me get my screen rolling here. Got it. All right, can you see this? <sighs> uh, let me uh, I'm streaming. Uh, yes. Okay, let's take a look. So we'll focus on our positioning, but we'll also look at some of the other things that come to mind as well. What do you think about your initial position here? I like this spot. I think that it can take a decent angle um the yeah. other one that i have considered at times and sort of the one i tend to take is echo is you can go like far left and come up on their side mm -hmm. of this but mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. risky like if they have a sombra or a genji or a monkey yeah like um iliari is not quite as does not have quite as good an escape as Sure. Echo. Sure. What I might consider for you is don't be as scared of flankers if it's just one flanker. Because mm -hmm. you with a pylon should be able to handle those characters in a 1v1. But yeah, I agree with you. I think this position is pretty good here. We'll keep going through. We don't care as much about stuff. What do you think about this position now? Uh, let me think about it for a second. Um... I feel like it's too much on main. I feel like it needs to be no, wait sort a of... second. Wait a second. What is main? Sort of uh, the path that the cart is coming and sort of where they're. Well, OK, Th I think I see mm -hmm. maybe what you're getting at. This is sort of right above their main. But like my team's main right now, if you think of it as like where the where the core of the team is like the in this case um arisa and brigitte like yeah. that's actually over on the left so yeah. from that perspective this is actually an angle and even your soldier is on the floor he's on the same sight line as you but he's lower and you're higher so i actually mm -hmm. think this is okay okay something to consider your job with idiari is not necessarily to not hold main yours is just to hold an angle that angle might be on main because maybe main isn't main anymore. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. Right. Like that's an example of Numbani where we were talking about, like where yes. I was saying that I liked holding what is like essentially what you think of as main. But if I can do that against, you know, two, four people, then 
and force the enemy team to rotate through one of the other angles. And really, the whole rest of my team is often up Got it. guarding those th the the paths through the building yes. and on the right flank. You uh, got it. So I think this position is all right. I would get my pylon set up here quickly, and then I would be shooting people. I think really part of your mistakes here is because I don't think you do enough damage. There's a little bit of a hesitation. You miss the shot there. You're thinking about pylon. You go shoot once, then go back to heal. And then you hesitate to shoot. And then you hesitate to shoot. See how it doesn't feel super fluid, right? Yes. There's a lot of downtime think... here once you're already in a good position. Go ahead. Yes. I was going to say, I think I'm wondering if I'm a little bit worried about Widow and trying to Could be. find where she's at. But even still, like, yes, that makes sense. Could be. Now, once you got here, I think you did a good job. Mm -hmm. You moved your pylon, you held an angle, and you just shot. And not only did you just shoot, you prioritized the squishies when you could see them, too. Which was perfect. Yes. Because you're shooting Malga because that's all he can shoot, and you're like, oh, Widow, hey, there she is. Bam! Popped off. Now, where can you rotate to from here? I think it would have been better to rotate up above onto the um, thing and then yep. sort of rotate possibly along the left or just hold that high ground for yep. a bit. I, um, I agree. I agree. We're on the same page here. This one, I'm honestly not too sure what happened. I think that the Widowmaker had an angle on your back line here, and I think your Arisa just died. Right. The, the yeah, um, yeah, soldier she... just died to... Widow and mm -hmm. the Arisa just... Yeah. And this is where I would have preferred you to just take the position and die shooting the Widowmaker or die shooting the Genji just to lose the fight and then move on next because I think it would have been a faster reset, if that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And that's definitely something that I don't do enough. That I, it would sure. be good to just spend a few games... That I, it would be good to add to the list of things to just sure. spend a few games focusing sure. on and learning. Sure. So that, but I think there's definitely a progression from the last time that we looked at your EDR. You definitely were... Imp your positioning was better than Dorado. Right? Definitely mm -hmm. better than Dorado. Okay. This one, we know what happens here. This is just a mechanical yep. choke. We don't care. We decided to try this angle out here. It worked out pretty well. You got Genji low. Deflect is out. He got healed from Mercy. Now, this is where I did not love your rotational choice. And I think you spend a lot of time in this fight here, just kind of stacked behind your Orisa, when I would have preferred you to have gone top left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This pylon, there's more pressure for you to be had here, dueling the Genji, sneaking up on the Mercy, shooting the Widow. There's just so much more vision. Whereas here, mm -hmm. do you see how your vision is sort of limited? Yes, you could shoot the Mercy, but then she ducks behind cover, and what can you really see right now? Right. Right. That, yep. This is why off angles are important because everybody's hiding from stuff here, but nobody's hiding from this stuff here. Look at how much more you can see here. Yes. Now, the question is, is oh. why were you reticent to do this? Was it the Genji? Uh, no, I think that I just did not think of it in the moment. Got it. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I think even with the Genji, we talked about it. As long as it's a solo flanker and there's a little bit of distance, I think you should be good to go. Right. Like, I think that position, I would have been fine against the Genji. Like, mm -hmm. it's the thing that the when I get a little a bit more conservative against Genji, is taking, like, the way far forward yes. positions yes. where I can't Agreed. get, like, back to my team with a shift. Agreed. Um, and I or, think, like, actually, this was pretty good when you did take it. Like, you can look at this here. There's blam, 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 forces fade. The only problem is here is I think you kind of get sucked forward, and then you get accidentally pulled into the Malga ultimate. Whereas if you had not, you could have, heck, you could even rotate it this way, maybe popped off. Now, I think you guys lose this fight either way, just because this is a really fat Malga ult. But yeah. Yep. Okay. I think yeah. that's mostly it. Oh, no, there's one more play here. So I wanted you to try limit testing. I wanted you to try deep angling here. I want you to coach yourself and tell me what you think of this play. Was it good? Was it bad? Was there a better solution? Uh, let's pause like here. Like. 
honestly, I feel I feel good about this. Like my team is engaged. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think they can actually challenge me without bringing multiple people. Like. Genji, Genji can maybe push me out, but not easily or fast with my pylon. I think he either sure. has to kill my py he has to kill my pylon first. But like the fact that three of them were able to push me while my teammates didn't get a lot of value back mm -hmm. there, like I think that's sort of on them. I, um, I would I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I think maybe the only adjustment I would have said here is maybe if you could have taken the angle and done it like here instead. Ooh, that's better with the cover. That cover's better. Yes. yes. And then you would have still had your shift. They would have had to push you. You could have disengaged. You could have destroyed your pylon. You could have ran and lived and ran and lived and ran and lived and ran and lived. And I think then that would have really, really put your team in a good position to win this fight. Really, yes. Really and it would have, uh, like, it would have stopped them from just... Um, What's what's your bit about corners flipping the corner on me? Yeah. Like once yeah. once yeah. they pushed sort of down the uh, down back down, let's call it main. Like I had nowhere I really for cover mm -hmm. there, but up there I would have had all exactly. the cover I needed until they actually pushed right. up that high so, ground. So the idea was there. I just think the exact the details of the execution in terms of like what flank angle you took was not perfect. Yes. And that's what hurt you. Okay. What do you want to work on next game? Let's requeue. Um could work on more of the uh, same. We could Yeah, let's keep exactly. working on this cuz I feel like the positioning is is uh is right. sort of one of the most important things and it's also been one of the things that I'm been thinking about um the most. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Hit screen. All right. Can you see? I sure can. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Now I want Wait. you to try nope. jumping into Vaxta. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So go Vaxta for this time. Don't do the challenge move necessarily, just do the normal move and see how it goes. Yep. <laughs> uh, st start just, warm up? Yeah, just shoot. Sure. You got it. Uh, I can tell that as far as my aim goes, it's like I am just, I'm trying too hard. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna really make you hard. All right, I want you to go to the, look up the top right there and the top of the building, like way, way, way. See the little circles up there. Aim yep. on the bottom red circle on the very right, and press your interact key. Now the this is the hardest mode. Okay. All right. All right. So when you move your mouse. There you go. There it is. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. Don't move your keyboard. Fast, you got it in the way. Nice, good stuff. Nice. <laughs> that's good. It's good. Again, try to try to use your mouse to move your crosshair on the target, like that little flick, rather than have them move their head into your crosshair. Good. Now here's, we're gonna do an exercise here. You ready for this one? When yep. I say shoot, I want you to move your crosshair 
onto the target and shoot. But then I don't want you to move it again. So you're gonna move, shoot, and then wait. You ready? So okay. shoot, flick. Now hold it. Hold it, I'll move it. Shoot. Wait. Shoot. Shoot. Good, you're gonna miss a lot of these, that's okay. Shoot. Yep. Good. Shoot. Good. Shoot. 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 Now I want you to do this by yourself at your own cadence. Hit. Relax. Good. Yeah, I see you're getting better. Yep. Absolutely. Now, I don't want you to flick away. Just flick and hold. Flick and hold. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, see, this is good. I can tell that I'm often over, over flicking. But that's okay. That's okay. That will be addressed with practice. You don't need to overthink that. What this is doing is this is preventing you from only using their movement as your mechanics. It's actually your flicking that's practicing here. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is going to be really good for you. I, what I might do is have you practice this in your mechanical uh, warm up instead of just yep. do, uh, do. You can do this in the IOSX code as well. Obviously, yep. the one problem is that you won't necessarily. I, what I would say is I do this for two to three, maybe five minutes, and then go for kills. Because mm -hmm. it's obviously mm -hmm. like. Not going to be getting you a lot of kills as fast, but it's going to help break that right. habit of only... That's okay. That's not what right. I'm practicing. Right. I don't. I want you to practice aiming with your right hand and not with your left hand and not with them. Now yeah. I'm going to add the layer of complexity to this. Are you ready for this one? Now I want you to try and track them with your crosshair, like you're playing soldier, and then flick to them when I say shoot. All right. So try and track them. Track. Stay on their head. Stay on their head. Stay on their head. Oh, that's okay. That's going to be good to practice as well. Because when, you, when you're flicking, you're basically tracking them and then making that microsecond adjustment at the last second. Uh-huh. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I, I, I like that. That'll be good to practice. Because I don't come from a DPS game background. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, the good news is your mechanics are not a weak point. You definitely hit shots, so... Okay, more Brigitte Ibiari gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you could already start thinking right now before you roll out a spawn. Uh huh. Where do you want to hold? No um, like, I feel like the options are usually either go around left here or sort of hold in the building on the right. Sure. Um, or try. if they have a Fara that's just flying around in the air, you can just hold behind like one of the buildings. Sure. You might um, be able to hold on point if your team fights on the right side. I think you could make that jump across if you have your shift. Yep. I don't know. Try try pick pick one of them and just try and see how it goes. Yeah. I'll I'll try and hold the point, especially since I haven't seen a uh seen a Farah. Usually they would have already shot by now. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a monkey. If you're piling here, don't forget. Yep. Nice. Right, and then we get your chance, so let's take this rotation. Where do you want to go? Nice. Yep. Ooh. Honestly, well... It's tough, isn't it? Just Gonna try and get to the diva. Yeah, good shot. Get that pylon. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna hold behind point and try and. All right. So then, now that you have a little bit of time to, to recharge and think, where do you want to go angle-wise here? What angle? Are you I'm thinking, thinking I'm gonna go uh, sort of. Well, they're already gonna come in. 
I'm just gonna hold back behind here because there's Alright. Like, I'm okay here if Monkey tries mm -hmm. to kick me off because I have my, uh... You got it, and you're about to have your pylon again, too. And you're about to have your ult, too. Winston is one. Good stuff. You have your ult. You may not even need it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Just to, just to secure it. Nice job. Okay, again, you got time here, so let's use it. I think... Uh, I think I'll set up back here. Worse for me. All right, let's start plinking away. Like the yeah, soldier can't challenge yeah, me is, this here. This is really good. Yeah, every, that, that, you're actually the reason that Faro just got play of the game, because you had two or three people looking at you, and both hits kills, yeah. and so then nobody's looking yeah. at Faro, and then they just lose. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, and I. I love when a soldier, like, tries to challenge me from that range. Because yeah. really, unless I get helix and shot by someone else. Good stuff. Uh, there's somebody coming around to the left. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're challenging so me. Ch yeah, yeah, good stuff. Excellent rotation there. All right, next angle, what do you think? Honestly, okay. I'm going to try and heal up a little bit. Sure. Relax, relax, you good? It's all right. I think that angle was all right. I think you could have been a little closer to point with both you and your pylons. You could have gotten more damage on the rotation in. Yeah, that makes sense. But I'm impressed and that you recognized the rotation, period. Like, you were ready for it. You knew it was coming. That was that was good. Thank you. All right. And so then I feel good. like I'm just, I feel like I'm just a little, uh, Thinking about multiple things at the same time. Yes. Normally, I feel like yes. I kill that mercy. Uh, I agree. I agree. But that's all right. You're you're practicing what we want you to practice, and that's all that matters. Exactly. All right. Yeah, I would like to rotate probably around the left side. I think again. you can do it. I think you can do it. Do it up. Drop that pylon. Let's go. I think Reaper's gonna get a big play here. Nice. Good. Here, I just want to keep my team alive mm -hmm. if possible because it's just monkey. Mm -hmm. All right, use the ult. Anything that touches. Nice. Nice job, mate. Very good. Thank you. Productive practice, too, not just good play. You know, productive practice. That's the most important thing. Yep. And that's kind of like. Find... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, I find that the most fun, too, like when I'm thinking yeah. about positioning and find a good position. Yeah, it puts a lot less stress on you. You know, you don't have to feel like, oh, I have to perform. I just have to just chill. So right now, yeah. let's, let's, take, let's take the time to think. Where do you, what do you want to start? Where do you want to experiment uh, with this time? I like starting on the right side high ground. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Like... Occasion like I do have to watch out for like a Lucio has occasionally like pooped me <laughs> off or a Fara can yep. shoot me yep. off the edge. Um right, you'll get there just in time. Winston's already used bubbles, so you're in good spot. Oh I love this angle. Oh, look it's at you go. So look good. at you go. Look at you go. Huge. Keep plinking away. And this is where you can also think about rotating forward, not just side to side. So, like, as your team pushes forward and you're so... See how mm -hmm. far back you are? You might want to consider rotating forward here. Or, or cap point. Yeah. That, that also works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think capping the point is probably a good idea. Like, they may die, but... Yeah. And then now again here, as your team... Okay, maybe we don't push too far forward here, but... Your fight's happening here, so you're here. Yeah. And here I'm basically just trying to delay them taking you the point. It. And if you need to back up, you back up. Yep. I think I just challenge here and die. Yeah, I agree. You can get her, you can get her. Aw, close. You could have, I, I wonder if you could. Have, I wonder if you could have shifted her off the map. I'm, I was thinking about that. <laughs> that, that, that would be yeah, hilarious. I, 
Okay, I don't I think I put my pylon down. I should have done that. I think that's I could have okay, won that's that. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Looks good. Let's plink away. And then again, as they back up and as your team walks forward, I want you to rotate forward with your angle too. So now where do you want to angle now? Ooh. Uh, spicy. Spicy. I like it. Who's here? Who's here? Yeah, yeah. There they are. There they are. Careful. Readjust your pylon if you need to. Don't forget about that pylon. There you go. Nice. It's okay. Plink, 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 plink. So winnable. Plink, 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 plink. Okay, maybe we lose this. Ooh, maybe not. Popping off. You could use your ult if you see an opportunity to. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for bubble. Fat. That should Huge. be one down. Hit, hit the brig too. Drop your pylon. Good stuff. And then retake your angle. Now keep in mind your team might walk forward here. So this is what we lost. This is what lost us last fight. So you might change your angle. Nice. He can't, ch he can't challenge me no, he sure if can. I have cover like that. No, no. Good stuff. Got nice. him. Nice. <laughs> but you see, now this angle is good because this is where your team is fighting. The coast side yep. is if your team is fighting on point. Yep. So you got to always ask yourself, what what angle should I hold with where my team is fighting? Yeah, I'm a little... He may... Good stuff. Okay, I'm... Um... Good stuff. Right so now, I'm just trying adjust to adjust that pylon. Adjust that pylon. There you go. I think your Reaper's gonna pop off here. I can smell it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I'm just right, gonna die. challenge and die. Good stuff. Nice job. Yeah, that was good. It was awkward with your team stuffing the choke there. There really wasn't a good off angle for you to play, so I think you did fine. Okay. All right, so let's read where we're fighting, and then again, your angle, and think about that ultimate, because that ultimate's coming up soon. Good. You got it. Nice, big one. Adjust that positioning. Where should you go now? Where oh. should you go now? You got it. You got it. Drop that pile on. Let's go. Use that cover. Good, good rotation. Really nice rotations from you. I think this might even be winnable here. I agree. Crucial rotation to co-side there. That rotation to co-side was really, really good. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, Reaper ult, maybe? No. He doesn't have it. Wait, still, still, maybe. Uh, yeah, good, good, good round. Good round. Good round. Okay, again, so you know which is the next one coming. So again, you can already start preparing your, your thoughts. Where do I want to hold first fight here? And you also know what comp they're running, right? They're running a lot of these hit scans and Winston. So where do you want to go? Um, I feel like sort of the the cover on the left like inside the building like yeah winston can kind of push me back but at least he has to come way out of position that's right so as long and as winston like, bubble hey. is so important too so if he has to use jump and bubble to get to and you live that's generally a pretty good cooldown trade okay let's see what you do your symmetra might want to teleport to point in which case you might be the flanky the here <laughs> yeah <sighs> In which case, I want to sort of poke decently, safely. Uh huh. Yeah, see, there, half of them are on point. You got this off angle here. Now you're going to need to rotate forward here. Yep. Drop that pile and let's go. Plink, 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 plink. Like we said, flanky the Yari. There you go. Now they might push you, so you rotate away. Good stuff. Now your team walks forward. 
Nice chop. Really good push pull there. Thank you. I was pleased with that. That was very good. Don't okay, really your team is fighting here. on point, so you're going to have to be kind of sneaky here. Don't give away your position maybe too early. Right here, I actually honestly kind of want them. Ooh. Yeah, but be careful. You are fighting technically by yourself because your team isn't shooting just yet. You see that? So let yep. them walk towards point before you do anything too crazy. Might need to shift away here. <clears throat> Ooh, still pushing me. I'm... Fill up pylon soon. Good stuff, good stuff. Can you live? Can you live? Yep. Yep. All right, now they're pushing your team, so now you walk forward again. Rotate your pylon forward. Let's go. Still winnable oh. here. Yeah. That's okay. Th that was totally my fault. I went out of range of my pylon. Like, if I'd yeah. been back three feet, mm -hmm. I would have been fine. But there's something even more important that happened in that fight. I want you to pay attention when you're on your own that you're not fighting by yourself, if that makes sense. We'll talk about that in the review of this map after the... That sounds careful. good. 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 Use that ultimate. Oh. Rotate. Let it rip. Ooh, it's big. Pylon. Okay, maybe okay. reset here or die. One there. there you go. Okay. So what's happening is your team is rotating the point and you're not synchronizing your pressure at the same time. Sometimes you go a little early, then they poke you out, then your team fights and you're not fighting at the same time. So I want you to pay very close attention to when your team is fighting. All right, let's take an angle here. Maybe I go on to point? Oh. Might be scary here. Yeah, a little too yep. close. Too close. Yeah, I should have backed off. Mm -hmm. We get a recontest. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably not. I don't think it. Yeah, like I should have okay. touched, but I don't maybe, think. Maybe, maybe. So you made a really crucial error this last round, which is going to be very important. I want you to pull up this replay code here because this is going to be super important. Because the more off angles you take, the harder it is to be a team player. And you lost that game because you were not a team player. That. So yes, I would love to talk about that because this comes up. It's, it's, it's not not the first time. That's history. Okay, can you get back in my stream? <clears throat> I have to like click on the thing at the top of Discord to find it. Might have gotten buried. Yep. So I'm gonna do something a little different here, and I'm gonna skip right ahead to the last round because I think for the most part you were playing okay. Let's talk about why you won first fight. The question that needs to be answered is who on your team is fighting right now? Are you fighting? Obviously, yes. Yes. But who else is fighting? 
um the i mean my team is fighting the arisa is yes. coming through there and fighting i assume that sim is shooting through at the whole team and they are and reaper and brigitte yep. and now that they came in the like the whole team is fighting but everybody is fighting essentially at once you your sim and yep. your arisa at least were all doing damage at the same time okay mm -hmm. and i want you to compare that with what happens here who's fighting now right it's just me and so, you go ahead i was gonna say my thinking at the time is like if it's just basically if it's just from this distance then honestly i feel safe okay about it because i feel safe i don't think they can poke me out from that distance but the way it turns out which i think this is not the first time this has happened <laughs> is that because they're not fighting my teammates they just see me they then close the distance on me and my teammates can't punish them for that yes and they push me out so i'm Whereas not gonna it, say it, much i'm just gonna let it play watch Nothing too bad just yet, but right. Right. then, right? Mm -hmm. You see it? Yep. So now the enemy team is committed to the fight and you are not fighting. Now, this is okay. Like, the Sojourn's pushing you now. But once again, now the enemy team is committing again. And where are you? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, off on my own, doing I mean, my own thing. And here's the 5v4. And that's it, exactly. So, yeah. the reason why this is so important is the more flank-oriented you are, the harder it is to synchronize pressure. Yes. And it's not just like... Just Tracer. like, just like Tracer. <laughs> Yes, and it's not just like your flank positioning, but also like how far you are from their mm -hmm. team. Like at some point, sometimes I've taken like what's a great angle, but it's just like too far back. Like I'm plinking away, but I'm doing honestly very little damage. And, and it happens can... again here, right? Like where your team is about to fight, but you get cleared mm -hmm. before the fight starts again. Like if you took Sojourn Mercy now, it would be good because your team would be taking yes. a 4v3. But the problem is, is yes. that you took Sojourn Mercy while your team was still coming out of spawn and setting up and then got forced out. And so then now that you're actually fighting, right? Now! <laughs> you're right. Yeah, my, right? my team is already one dead. Exactly. Greg's almost dead. Uh, Ariza's exactly. half dead and probably has used all her cooldowns. Yes. 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 And, and like, so what, what ends up happening is I, I didn't say anything here because I kind of wanted you to kind of like figure things out. But you go, okay, well, let me try a different off angle, but obviously this one doesn't work. The problem actually was not the position at all. The position you had was very effective. It's just when you were leveraging that position. Yes. And I think another relevant part of it is mm -hmm. like when I'm getting poked out, like they're very aware of me like it would have been much better if the sojourn had been trying has been focused on killing someone else like yes when i started shooting at her yes 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 it's like so, yes exactly so you can it you are again utilizing if you're going to be the distraction you want to make sure that your team is capitalizing off of it and if your team is distracting then you need to be the one that's finishing the kills right so yes. do you want to be the or, do you want to be the, the the quote unquote tank, or do you want your team to be the the tank? I guess is the way. Right. Like. Yes, and then like the uh, the other way that sometimes turns out well is my team starts out being the tank, and then I start shooting, and like two or three of them turn around, and I take cover, and you then sort it. of I'm being the tank, but I but 
like it's chaos rather than like they know exactly where I am. None of my team is shooting at them. They can just focus on challenging me. You got it. Um, you got it. You got it. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And I think that's going to be your challenge here is the perfect marriage of where are good off angles that I can hold, not getting too lazy with the off angles that I'm holding. But then also mm -hmm. when I do take those angles, especially these deeper angles that you're really hustling and making sure that I'm going in and being a good team player by myself. Yes. And also I think from, especially from these, like deciding when to show myself, don't just. I mean, that, that, that is, that's like, the team player aspect right there. It's just the mm -hmm. timing. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. Okay. So any questions? Because I would like to take some notes here, if not. Uh, no, I think that this has been great. Great. I think you played really well. I'm very pleased with how you approach this character. I just think you just need a little bit more practice with some of the details. Mm -hmm. And things are going to mm -hmm. look pretty darn good. So let's take mm -hmm. some notes here. Yeah. And the nice thing is that this is also super applicable to Echo. I think that's one yes, of the reasons I like playing these two so much. Is 100%. 100%. They do it differently. But like the the fundamentals are very similar. You got it. Okay. So what do you need to do? What do you need to practice? How would you phrase it? Being a team player and coordinating my engagements with with the team, um, like choosing who's going to be the tank and when. Um... How does that look right there? I mean, how to phrase it or how to... Yeah, I dropped some message. I dropped a message in your Discord. Oh, games. Uh, sorry. I was still no, looking no, no, at... Okay. Um, no worries, the... no yes, that looks great. Um, what else? Thinking about... Thinking intentionally about position as setting up, which is something that I think I have spent a lot, a lot of time thinking about, but it's important to keep thinking about and also keep getting better because it's so yes. important on her. Like the difference on an angle where you can see their back line and they mm -hmm. can't see you without turning their crosshairs is huge compared to just sitting like behind the tank and plinking into like what's usually a Rhine shield or something like that. I dropped one other detail in there. What do you think about that? Yes, I think that's a great thing to practice and that I will practice sort of during warm up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You can also go back at the VOD if you forget exactly how we did it and, and you can just mimic exactly what we did. Ultimately, you don't really need my voice to do it, but you can go back right. and watch yes. it. Yes. Okay, yep. any questions? No, this has been this has been really good. Okay, definitely some progress. I think like, you know, while there was definitely some details and some things that we need to improve, your positioning, clearly you had the right idea, the right approach. You were very mindful of rotating your pylon. It wasn't perfect, but big improvement from our Dorado VOD. Uh, I think also as well that your general approach to the character was good. I think your ults were good. I think your playing your range was good mid to longish mm -hmm. range. The only other detail I'd throw in there as well, make mm -hmm. sure you are rotating forward, backwards as your team push, pushes forward, falls back. I know it's awkward with Iliari, you are a rather static turret character, but like for example, that Li Zhang Tower Control Center, your team wins the fight yep. and you're kind of still holding that coast angle even though your team is like across the map. You need to push yep. forward. Yeah. You need to push forward. Okay. Yeah, there are times that I wish they wouldn't push quite so far, but that's me trolling rather than them. Exactly, they all exactly. Because it's good to hold chokes, right? It's good to push forward and good to do things like that. You just have to compliment them as yeah. best as you can. Okay. Any questions? No. Thank you. Okay.